There she is. Oh, finally, it took a while to get here. I'm not exactly sure what the what what it was, but I got here. And I had to do some finagling, but I love it. Love love love. Um, papers in the background are from the Ledger um, collage pack and one other one, and I'll have those listed. I used fluid acrylics. I'm really getting into some fluid acrylics and I want to just really try and experiment but they're so versatile because they're they're so highly pigmented and water you know very thin that they they can do so much so I will be doing more with those. So fluid acrylics I do use my brayer and uh, parchment paper. I even threw in some gold and I, I think you can see it. It's just a tiny tiny bit down here on the pot too. Um, mm, I like it. I like it. Um, I used a ton of stencils. There are a lot of new stencils in the shop too so if you haven't checked those out check those out but I used I have a small I have a small flower pot one and you get the stencil and the masks and then I have big ones too and you also get the masks for those. Um, then I used Wildflower, Flower Gang 5, the new Magnolia. I even threw a really old one in. Um, the new Eucalyptus um, one. So tons of stencils in there. And again, I say this a lot, but I use the stencil so I don't have to think so hard. I can just put down the design and then I can come back and use my brain power because sometimes I feel like I only have a little bit of brain power left. Then I can come back in and use the time to shade and create depth and definition. So I hope you use your stencils that way. I know that pots are not hard to make but sometimes you can get a visual and the nice thing about the big ones too even the little ones but the big ones you can make them work so this is taller this has got a base on it and I didn't want to use that base so I just used the outline and cut it off they're really really versatile like this one here you could use just the bottom portion so use your stencils to help you um, not reinvent the wheel and just kind of get the basic design down and then put your time into shading and creating all the goodness and the creating all the backgrounds and all that kind of stuff. Oh and I used this stencil here which is the geometric leaf one. So I used a ton of stencils. They'll all be listed. Um, I'll be listed. Let's see what else used. I think that's it. Charcoal pencil of course. I don't know what I would do without it. My pastel, soft pastel for shading. This down here. Now I just want to share with you why I changed my mind. And for every time when I when I find something isn't working for me, it's because there's not enough contrast between lights and darks or opposite colors. The two colors that were here, the turquoise and the blue, were too close together. So there wasn't enough contrast between the pot the table, the background, it just was fighting. And as soon as I changed this color down here, it was like, oh, the angels sang and everything was good again. Um, so uh, check if you're having a struggle with something, make sure you've got enough contrast in your piece because most of the time for me, that is, and I say it in all of my workshops, contrast, contrast, contrast. So. Um, and then just did my shading and that is it. Goodness, goodness, goodness. I love it. I love how these the stencil shows up in the background too. It's perfect. Um, so this says true. And um, I was searching for... I, this I, Last week was like a really... Like I was just like I, the blah step blah I've been. And just really struggling. And I, I shared with you my season and where I'm at. And and I'm so grateful for this community because all of you shared and encouraged. And there are a lot of us that are in that place. And I, you know, I think that there's seasonal depression for sure. And I, you know, you just never know what somebody's going through. But thank you for all the 
lovely, lovely encouraging words and for sharing your story and the journey with me. And um, like I said, the the more we, we are more alike than we are different. And so I'm just, I appreciate you. But the, there's been a change and there's been a shift from the last week to this week already. One is community. Um, just hearing your words and conversing and sending emails and things like that with other people is fantastic. But one of the major things that happens in when we're here and, and that helps shift us out of the blahs and the whatever we're in or I'm in is the number one thing that has helped is sharing your story telling someone about it I shared my story with you then I shared it with a few close people with around me that I trust I went into deeper you know details about what I'm struggling with and it's amazing what happens just that alone what a difference that makes and then making small steps to step out of my comfort zone and um, small steps for seeking the divine and my faith and those things and really focusing in on what I'm needing and what I what I'm wanting and all of those things all of those those small steps all come together with community and truth telling and all of those things to really help it helps me grow and I know it will help you grow and um, so if you're in that place find someone that you can share and you can share with me and I will do my best to get back to you I try my best to email everyone back that sends a note so my word down here is true and the, one of the main things that I did this week, one of the steps that I did was I talked about my truth and I talked about what is true. I wrote what is true and too often we listen to the lies more often than we listen to the truth. And the truth is how good we are, how talented we are, how creative, how smart. The truth is that we need rest. The truth is it's okay to be in a funk. The truth is it's okay to take time off. The truth is all of those truths are what we need to say. We need to say it either in a journal or to someone else and say it and say it and say it so that it becomes truth. Because so often for me, for me, I I don't believe the truths. I can believe the lies really easy and I talk about, I've talked about this before. And so that's why I wrote true down here because I want so much for you, for me, for all of us to really grab onto the truth. To be truth tellers to ourselves and to to treat ourselves like we would treat somebody else. We would never go to someone one of our friends and just lay down all of our all their faults or we might not even see them we would we would tell them all their their great qualities and all the things they're good at we need to do the same thing for ourselves we need to tell ourselves it's okay to rest and to do all of those things it's okay to want it's okay to desire something different it's okay the truth is changes is, is okay all of those things are so so important so I am feeling better for one that helps. Um, I, was, I was pretty sick. And um, then my community, you, my, my, my tribe, and the truth have really lifted me, lifted my spirits, and I'm on my way back up to a great place. And I'm just so, so grateful. Grateful for your prayers and your thoughts and good vibes and juju and whatever you sent and kind words and I'm wishing the same for you if you're there and if you're in a great place share your great attitude with others around you all right lovies I hope your Sunday is amazing and I hope that you always always know that you are loved